Good morning everyone, uh, good evening sorry. Today we would like to, of course as in every video on this channel, fight against the Admas character of the world around us and today the video will be full of some considerations. And the considerations will be uh, connected with the, in quotation, the only bad child, end of quotation, of the 20th century. Why the only bad child was placed within the quotation because according to official propaganda in mainstream media and in mainstream academia with only some minor exceptions but very minor that can be neglected if the observer of the reality is not uh, careful claim that national socialism i mean the german nazism so national socialism nazi und sozi so national and socialistic that this movement can be classified on the political axis as far right. Wait, 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 wait. The name itself claims national. Okay, national doesn't have any connection with uh, with in, in, in neither uh, so socialism nor uh, right wing movements. So the second uh, component of the name socialist claims that it was a sort of socialism, so left-wing movement. And the main argument that it was left-wing movement, I would say set of arguments, because there are many, is that the ideology of this movement, created by the, by the main ideologists like Alfred Rosenberg, Anton Drexler, and some early creators, and, and also famous painter from Vienna, failed painter from, the, uh, from Vienna, who later became a chancellor of, Ge chancellor of Germany, uh, in the ideology, there was no place for individual persons. There was only race or nation. So the people were treated collectively. Individual person meant nothing when this ideology. Another thing. Economy was not free. Of course, the uh, properties were not fully nationalized, but the owners of the companies, especially the uh, companies that were doing strategic activity for the state, like steel production, like uh, fossil fuels excavation, some other resources excavation, or wood production or cloth production and any other food production and, and any other activities important for the state transportation were completely uh, ruled i mean the production and the uh, selling scheme where was completely uh, over, over, overtaken by the state the owner of the company was only nominal yeah the position was not liquidated and the owner was still if he was uh, if he was obedient to the national socialistic party policy he still uh, was keeping his place in nazi germany but he had no influence on the policy of his company because state was the main customer and the state was the state agent agents from the national socialistic party were the people who were ruling uh, the production uh, procedures within the company and they were adjusted to the current needs of the state or region so the nominal owner of the company had nothing to say about the way how his company was acting during the rule of uh, national socialistic part uh, another very important issue that uh, personal uh, freedoms were completely uh, cancelled and they were completely subjected to the interest of the party members defined as the real interest of the collective group called nation or race. How it was understood we can discuss, there is huge literature about it, but it was collective approach to the state and society. It was of course complete uh, manipulation uh, of the economy and the production by the state officials it was subjected 
completely to the interest of the party and the politics, no freedom of the economical activity and expression. It's typical to leftist parties. It was also uh, very important that the education system was completely under the state officials who were connected with the ruling party and soaked with their uh, main ideology of the state of those days. There was no place for homeschooling, for uh, expression of individual opinions and individual behaviors. Production of the uh, playwrights, movies, uh, works of literature, so any cultural or social activity was also subjected to the uh, state and the party. So we see that national socialism is very far from any right uh, political movement that respects freedom of the individual person, uh, possibility of expression of opinion, uh, the freedom of faith, of course, officially there was some recognition of faith, but everything was pushed in Nazi Germany into so-called positive Christianity that was not so positive. It was ideologically soaked with something version of pseudo-Christianity that was imposed on many people and many, many other things. Of course, minorities that government didn't like were completely persecuted and many of them even liquidated almost all. So it's typical, uh, this National Socialism fulfills completely all definitions of socialistic system. There was, of course, uh, enemy of the nation. It was capitalist, communist uh, and uh, representative of minorities, among them Jews, gypsies and whoever whoever government defined and actually this ideology like many leftist ideology was not falsified it was adapted to the current needs of the party and political situation everything was uh, aha, uh, property was not respected for instance when there was an evacuation of people from those days to Breslau, these days Wrocław, when the Soviet army was about to encircle the city in the January 1945. Many people were evacuated before Wrocław was announced to be Festung Breslau, so Fortress Breslau, Fortress Wrocław. They were, many people were ordered to evacuate themselves with this what they can took with themselves to Dresden. And people in Dresden were ordered to offer one room in the in their flat or house to the people to the family from Wrocław. So we see that uh, private property was completely not respected, which is not typical to right political spectrum, but it's typical to left political spectrum. So national socialists are simply political brothers of our nowadays green socialism and their brothers red socialism. So they were only, as I was talking in one of the, my previous videos, they were representative of brown socialism, but it was also socialism. And why? I gave you some examples. I hope all is clear. All the best and have a nice evening.